On February 15, 2009, I had the opportunity to see a sneak preview of the upcoming movie Miss March, starring Trevor Moore and Zach Krager, who are two actors from the sketch The Whitest Kids You Know. After seeing the film and after conducting a phone interview with the two actors, uh, here's what I have to say about the film as a whole. First of all, it stars Zach Krager as Eugene and Trevor Moore as Tucker. The two guys have been friends for quite some time, and Eugene is serious with his girlfriend Cindy. After an unfortunate accident, which you can obviously tell from the trailer, he goes into a coma and after four years wakes up to discover his girlfriend is a Playboy Playmate. What I enjoyed most about this film was that it was plausible. It's about a guy, alongside his best friend, trying to track down his old girlfriend from four years prior. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's pretty logical. Along the way, though, they encounter one of their old friends from high school who has become a rapper named HorseDick.MPEG. Horse Dick is portrayed by Craig Robinson from The Office, and he does a very good job. Um, in fact, he has a very funny song called Suck My Dick While I Fuck Your Ass, and the music video that's featured in the film is actually pretty hysterical. And another great part about the film was that it had a lot of physical comedy, and by that, I mean, it really, it was really similar to that of the Fairley Brothers. You know, something ridiculously abnormal, you know, way out from left field, that just, they just slapped into the movie, and it made for a good fit, and it made for some jaw-dropping laughs, which I really enjoyed. However, there were some problems with the film, and like in a lot of comedies, it was the acting. Uh, Trevor Moore's character, Tucker Clay, just didn't seem like a real idiot. It seemed like kind of like a Will Ferrell sketch, where he's trying to be stupid. It's not coming natural to him. One extreme form of their physical comedy was when they were in the desert and they were picked up by two lesbians named Katya and Vanka. And these two actresses, I can tell, are going to have some fun in Hollywood because the scenes that they're depicted in, in the car, they get naked, they're making out, they're having sex with one another. I mean, it's pretty graphic, but it's extreme, and I can tell you the truth, I was not looking away. I was pretty entertained. Another problem with the film was that although it flowed very well, and there was really no problem with the editing and the transitions. I mean, it was just bing, bang, boom. You know, it was very orderly and chronologically set up. The vocabulary, you know, the um, verbal humor just wasn't funny. I mean, the jokes weren't there. The punchlines just weren't very killing. And I didn't feel it. It was really just a physical comedy that saved the movie. As I mentioned earlier... I conducted a phone interview with the two stars, and I asked them a series of questions. Um, they mentioned how shooting in the desert was the worst experience, that they spent two days there, and Zach Krager absolutely hated it. But what I found very interesting was that the original Hugh Hefner was actually Robert Wagner, who you may remember played number two from the Austin Power movies. However, they decided to go with the real Hugh Hefner because when a test audience previewed the film, they just didn't like it. They didn't like the buildup of this woman who's a playmate. They go to the Playboy Mansion, which is actually not the Playboy Mansion, keep in mind. And then they see this man who's not really Hugh Hefner. In fact, the only part of the movie that was actually shot at the Playboy Mansion was Hugh's study. And they filmed there for about a day. Now, for their first movie, I think Zack and Trevor did a great job. I mean, they didn't strike out, but they didn't hit a home run. They, they played it safe, and they got on base. Excuse the baseball terminology, but I'm just trying to create a metaphor here. They did a good job. It could have been better, but, you know, a lot of comedies can be better. So, I think this film deserves at least a morning showing. Um, some theaters will give you a discount in the morning. Otherwise, this makes a perfect rental, and I can guarantee that uh, Trevor Moore and Zach Krager will produce better films in the near future. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to comment. Keep them nice. Have a great day.